Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new user in Azure Active Directory. The first thing you need to do is to log into the Azure portal as an administrator. Not everybody has permission to create a new user, but I am an administrator admin at this account right here. It's a Contozo sample Active Directory, and I want to search for Azure Active Directory. There it is right there. Bring this up. And I can actually add a user right from here, add user, but I really like to stay in the users blade. So I'll go to the left menu here, click on users, and it brings up a list of all these users. And then I'll select new user. And I have an option. I can either create a brand new user inside of this Active Directory, or I can invite an external user from somewhere else. And I'll create it, send an email and let them join. But I'm going to create a brand new one here, create new user. And here I have some uh, information to fill up. I'm going to give it a name. Gcast. User one, how about that? And this will be part of their full name will be Gcast user one at this dot on Microsoft dot com. Um, and that'll appear in lists if I can search for them and show on there. So it has to be a unique name within this active directory. I'll also give this a name here, um, uh, like a full name. And their first name is Gcast, and their last name is User. First name Gcast, last name User. You can see from these stars, these are the only two required fields. I could actually leave the rest of this stuff empty, but I won't. Um, I can either create a brand new password myself, or I can just let it auto generate one. I'll do that, and I'll show it. I came up with that one right here. I probably want to copy that and hang on to it. That's fine. Um, and if I want to, I can also right now assign them to. A, an Active Directory group or to a role by default or in the user role, but I could give them other roles here as well. I'm going to skip that for right now. Um, if I'm not ready for them to sign in, let's say somebody's starting in my company next week and I just want to get everything set up, I can say block sign in until and then turn it back on next week. That's fine. Uh, I want to for, say where they're physically located here again this is optional pretty much everything on this form is optional here and you can go back and change this information later like information about their job here now what's their job title they're a uh, corporate drone happens to be this person department they are in the department of redundancy department uh company name is uh, gcast inc and if I want to, I can specify who their manager is here. So I can have all sorts of information about them on here. And then when I'm done, let's hide that taskbar. I click on the create button right there, and that will create the user. It just took about one second to create it. And they're here in this list somewhere. But I can find them just by searching right there. Gcast user there. There are the listing here and if I click on it, I can see details. About the user right here. Um, and if I want to, then I can edit the properties of this user here. Click on that and you can see there's a whole bunch more. Information that I can change about this user. First of all, there's the things that I added, like the job title and the company name and so on. I can edit that, that you know, I can say they are a, a senior. Corporate drone, for example, uh, but there's things that they didn't ask me, you know, city address, um, and this is information that sometimes it's just useful and sometimes it can be added to claims. So if I could generate a token and send it to some other application, they want to know, all right, you know, who is this person? What groups do they belong to? What roles do they have in your organization? What's their job title? Who's their manager? I can send that information as well because it's all here part of Active Directory. So I'll make my changes and click save, and now I've changed the job title of this particular user. Um, and uh, I may decide that they're they're um, to reset their password. Maybe they call in and say they forgot their password. Let's reset it. Or I can delete the user if they're done. Maybe they're it's a, an employee who left the company. Do that. A confirmation comes up here, so I have to click delete a second time, and now they're gone, and I never have to worry about them again. So in this video, I've shown you how to create a brand new user in Active Directory, how to manage and edit that user, and how to delete the user when they're done. This is David. Thank you for watching.